what's up everybody welcome to my stream here i am streaming again <laughs> how's it going uh we're gonna be gaming tonight uh i forgot that i got a key for this uh which is kind of redundant i got a key for this game called the mortal royale and it's a free to play game so i'm like why do i need a key for this but apparently uh this allows me to customize my character for a game that has, uh, let me just let me just uh, read this off for you in case you're not uh, familiar with Mortal Royale. Okay, it's a very ambitious title. Uh, just let this load so we can see this. All right, so Mortal Royale is a battle royale game on a massive scale in a fantasy setting. Up to one thousand players are thrown into a massive world in the eye of a dead, uh, deadly chaotic storm that is slowly closing in on them. Whoa, a thousand players! Now that sounds incredible. I've never played with a thousand players before, uh, so that this this is uh, an immediate red flag. <laughs> when there's battle royale games that can't even uh, f uh, get a hundred people to play them, so uh, I did a little search. I'm gonna go on Steam Chart right now. Uh, Steam Charts, that is, and I'm gonna see how many people are playing. It's, it's gotta be at least two thousand, right? There have to be two thousand. Uh, there are two games going on. Oops, 50 people playing 42 minutes ago. An all-time peak of 93. <laughs> For a free game. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, man. Only uh, 950 more players until we could play. <laughs> so I wanted to take a look at it because uh, I thought it, w it might be interesting to see what this game uh, has to offer. Universally panned, by the way. Universal, uh, Universally negative reviews about this game. Citing such problems as lag, uh, lack of players, <laughs> etc. You know, maybe start at 100 players and then work your way up to 1,000 man lobbies once it's popular. PUBG could have probably handled 1,000 at one point. It would have been laggy as hell, but they definitely have the community for it. Mortal Royale? Eh, I don't know about that one. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see what this game is all about. Very curious about this. This will probably kill my computer. Oh, good. The first thing that comes up is my computer not recognizing this as a legitimate program. Warning me, uh, or asking me my permission to open it. Because it's from an unknown publisher. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Also, it just fucked up. Why would you put it in this resolution? What fucking resolution is this? I can't, you can't even blame my monitor on this. This is like 800 by 600. Jesus, man. Okay. Oh, this, this looks promising already. Oh, good. 1024 by 768. That's exactly the resolution I was looking for. Also, they don't have 4K, so that's, that's a good thing. This time. Okay, you didn't apply my my settings. Hold on, we'll we'll get this uh we'll get this to a functional state soon. All right, I'm gonna have to open Twitch on my phone because it's just not letting me. It's not letting me uh, look at my other screen. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's uh let's see what's going on here. First, let's capture this. Already, I must say, uh, never seen a battle royale game like this before. There's uh, there's definitely some interesting stuff happening here. There's grass. There's sword. Axe. Um, that's all I see so far. I guess we'll find out what else there is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if this captured properly. Uh, did you? Did you capture properly? Oh, display capture, that doesn't work. Is this game not even able to fucking capture itself? Let's see here. It's the wrong resolution again! I just changed this! Apply! Apply resolution! I'm not playing this shit in, uh, 
in 1024. I'm not from the early 2000s. Also, I can't capture this game. This is uh, very troubling indeed. Hold on, let's try a window capture. That's usually worse, but this is running at such a low resolution. Who fucking cares at this point? Let's see if this will work. Can this game handle this? Nope. <laughs> nope. No, it can't. Alright. I don't think we can play this game, then. How do you do this? How do you- how do you manage to fuck this up so bad? I wish I could have shown you this game. I'm very sad. I'm very sad. Now, let me try restarting it. Maybe that will fix it. Probably not, but... Hey, you know, it's worth a shot. I, I want to play! I want to play Mortal Royale.exe. Warning, opening uh, content from an unknown pro uh, publisher. Alright, now it's on my other screen. What the fuck is going on? In a smaller window? No, it has no windowed option. <laughs> Just what you want. <laughs> this is still in the wrong fucking resolution. It just refuses. It, it's so belligerent, man. It just refuses to do anything you want it to. I can't capture this fucking piece of shit. Uh, uh, what do we do here? This doesn't capture. Oh, good. It doesn't even come up on window capture now. Hold on, I have a, I have a, the worst idea. <laughs> you guys, you guys want to see Mortal, uh, Mortal Royale? How bad, let me know in chat how badly you want to see Mortal Royale, okay? <laughs> oh shit, this is, this should be good. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to pick this, uh, I'm going to pick this strategy up. For my favorite streamer, Charlie Winsmore, uh, because he had a problem like this once, <laughs> and he was uh, he was very uh, clever about it. And I would like to, you know, I'd like to follow in his in his footsteps here. If I can fucking come on, man, which 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 one with this? There we go. This should do it. Activate. Let's see if this works. Video, activate. There we go. We got it. Hey! All right. So we're going to do it this way. Okay? We're going to do it the Winsmore way. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I forgot. Hold on. Let's 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 put that on there. I, I forgot I gotta make this real big. All right, let's put this on the entire screen, okay? All right, here we go. Ready? You see the street? Hold on. Let's let's zoom this out. This is gonna be really interesting. Trying to play a fucking battle royale game while uh, while holding a webcam so that I could capture the game. All right, here we go, guys. This is what a. <laughs> This looks like this looks like somebody filming a new release in a movie theater. All right, here we go. We're gonna play this game now. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. The... Can I customize my man? Oh wow. Try to put an image. Uh, try to duplicate this image and put it in your VR headset. Oh, there's like different, there's different races in this. Whatever. Let's just choose. I don't even care. No one, no one's playing this game. What the fuck? Select grandfather's race. Well, clearly he was a Shivra. Grandmother was also a Shivra. Uh, what is this? What if I? What if? What if we have two Valias and a Shivra? Does that? 
do anything? Oh, I, I guess I turn white. I guess I'm a white elf now. Alright, no, I definitely, I definitely want to be a bit on the grayer side here. Yep, I want to be a... What, what if we just go full, uh, Shivra here? How dark can we get? Okay, we can. That's about it. as much, uh, as much as it does. Alright. You got a little Shivra here. What is this? So the father's race. He's clearly a Shivra. We got a Valia over here. Shivra. Okay. What is, what did this do? It changed my skin color. Devotion levels too low. Why would you even give me the option? Let's get a little Bob there. Show Bob. Very nice, man. Nice gray Shivra. I can't even fucking unlock anything. Why did they give me the key for this? Why is this necessary? Why is this necessary if, uh... If I can't do anything with it? I'm trying to like, I'm trying to adjust this. I, w I wish I could like, glue this to my head. Kind of like a miner's uh, helmet, so that you could really see from my perspective, but I'm just, I'm just gonna have to hold it. Oh, 19 players, sick, dude. Oh, good. The guy said the n-word, that's pretty nice. Tie it on with some string. I think I'm too tall for that to work. Mm. The phone just yelled at me. Alright. <laughs> How are you guys enjoying the uh, first person stream? It's like you're living my life, honestly. I should take this on the road. I should I should just do my... Uh, I should just go to work tomorrow with a webcam attached to my head. This is raw footage of the stream. This is like... This is a bootleg of the stream. This is something I wouldn't agree to if I wasn't uh, doing it myself. Listen, activate windows will be there forever. I've activated it twice. Okay? This windows has been activated. This keeps happening. Is this ever gonna load? <laughs> Yeah, it does. This is like Dark Side Phil's uh, brand of uh, game capture. <laughs> I took a I took a page from his book. Does it give me a reason? I think it just said that it wasn't activated. I don't remember. I just stopped trying. I activated once on Windows eight point one and once on Windows ten, and. Uh, it was fine for a while, and then it just came back, so I was like, fuck it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I know I own this Windows. Listen, it's I'm trying my best here, okay? How am I going to play this game? How am I, how am I going to do this? I got to find something like... <laughs> Should I do like some older, over-the-shoulder shit? Hold on. How would, would that work? Can you see? I put it on my chair. Can you see that? I gotta like... I gotta like go over here. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. It's too... it's too low. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna make this work, okay? I gotta watch this on my phone. <laughs> I gotta I gotta like watch this on my phone. To me. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be real nice. I wish I could. Hold on. Maybe I can. Let's minimize this. I don't even know if people are connecting in this game at this point. We're gonna we're gonna fix this ourselves. We're gonna we're gonna make this focus on the right one. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. 
fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? you ready for me to play this game? I'm now I'm now kneeling on the floor. Okay, so you can see the screen. <laughs> okay. What is this? Battle starts in in 45 seconds? Are there any other people in here? Where the fuck am I? I feel very immortal, kneeling on this floor, trying to capture this piece of shit. What? Teaming will result in a 24-hour van? Is there any way to lower this? Jesus. I'm just VoIP in this? Um, hello? Oh, okay. No dual clanning. This is truly something else. Are there any other living humans in this game? That takes a really long time to swing your sword. Oh, it will charge my strength. Uh, oh, that's really useful. The fact that my swing takes this fucking long, I could see myself getting killed before I'm able to do anything. Oh wait, I I'm in the storm right now? What? What? Okay. Oh, dude, I got an emote clap. I got dreadlocks. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, let's try again. Sneezy killed himself. Let's try <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah, 18th isn't too bad out of 1,000. You know what I'm saying? This guy's name is Update. And he said, ready to get killed by Godkin. Good, there's 11 players playing in this session. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I don't know. I think I think they just gave up and they're like, uh, 12 is enough. <laughs> 12 people is enough to play this game. Hell yeah, I get to play video game again. Does it really say sheet weapon? Did they mean sheath? Sheet weapon? Hold to stab. Okay. Oh, that's right. You have spells in this game. I forgot. It's incredible, man. Some incredible stuff. You know what's so great about this stream is that uh, you feel like you're in my in my room right now, watching me play this game. That's, that's so great. Uh, OBS is such a great uh, video game capture device that uh, it enables you to feel like you're in the room. I should start an S ASMR channel where I play video games and you you imagine that you're the one playing them. I would make millions 
Try not to stretch too much so I don't knock this webcam off the top of my chair. Now see, if I had my other chair, I finally got an office chair. If I had my dining chair, this would not be possible. I will never whisper that name. How dare you bring that up? I wonder if I could put a cat on this chair and do like a cat ASMR gaming experience. What's a game that only requires a mouse? If I could find one of those, we can make this work and I could hold the webcam. Waiting for four players to connect. <laughs> There's not even enough people. Yes, yes, I need a 360 camera in this room. So you can see all the junk. You can see my full trash bin. You can see my Venus flytrap on the windowsill. You can see all the cups I have behind me. Yes. Oh, can she could work? It's a single plant. It's not that exciting. Hold on, I gotta. You know, fuck it. I think I've charged this enough. I don't. I don't need this anymore. All right. Plant. Can this extend all the way over there? Oh, no, it can't. All right, we're going to have to bring bring this around. We're going to have to bring the plant here. Now, this is the wrong thing to do, okay? This flytrap should not be thriving. Uh, let me give you a little uh, botany lesson here, all right? This uh, flytrap should be cut around this time of year because it's supposed to be dormant. But my cat ate it so much, I wanted to just see it grow, okay? So I did that. That's the end of the plant tour. Um, what else can I show you here? I can't even like turn this around. Wait, did we get in yet? Did we get in? No. No, we didn't. Oh, hold on, guys. The game starts in 45 seconds. Now I got to readjust everything. Okay. Is it adjusted correctly? Can we see video game? That might be too high. There we go. I'm working with a delay here. Where, so wait, am I in the zone right now, or am I outside of it? Listen, these cables are from when I was living with my parents. They're not even recent. When my mom moved, she gave me every single cable I ever owned, and I still don't understand why. Alright, so I'm in... The place I should be right now, I guess. Where's my spell book? You don't have a spell book. Alright, let's find some loot here. Hell yeah, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> what the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. I think it's pretty cool. Quillen cup? Oh, a dagger. Fuck it, let's take it all. Is there a weight limit to this? Why the fuck would I use this if I got... What is this? Is this the dagger? A hand axe. Yeah, give me the axe. This thing does way more damage. Oh, there's a guy! There's a man! He's just... What is he doing? This takes so long to attack! I got her. One hit. For the sneeze. <laughs> this is very real. Where are you going? Oh shit. What? 
You guys are teaming right now. Uh. All right, I'm dead. They're definitely teamers. Uh, I'd like to report these two for teaming. Uh, teamers ruined my stream. Uh, wait for the emote. Wait for the emote. There it is. My whole stream is insulting me right now. Four years of respect down. Okay, I can't fit all that, but they get it. They, they understand teaming. There we go. We'll report them for that one. Um, I got a beard. <laughs> wow. All right. I think it'll leave that battle. I think. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me improve this stream with a cat, okay? Holy shit, what did I just step on? Alright, here's our gamer. Here's our new streamer here. Meet Tomoya. He will be the gamest today. Alright. I'll see if he stays. He usually gets pretty freaked out about uh, situations like... Oh yeah, he's leaving. He's, he's done with it. He's done with it. Yeah, I kicked some models around. Out of frustration! Yeah, he's gone. He wants no part of this. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna have to substitute a different streamer here. Wiggling around. Okay. We got this streamer now. Okay. She might stay. She fucking loves this chair. So much so that it was covered in hair the first day I got it. She's a star. She can stay here. She can handle the pressure of streaming as her dad uh, plays the game. Okay. And she's a girl gamer, so get those wallets out, everybody. Okay, let's figure this out here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she loves the audience. Hi. She's a real show off. How are you caught already? There you go. All right. Let's get this. The gamer's feet. <laughs> she gets upset when you touch her paws. Yeah, she's just getting settled in. She's about ready to game. I wonder if we can... Uh, <laughs> let's, let's take a... Let's get like a... Can we, can we get this angle here? These are all new streaming techniques, okay? Can you, can you see the cat and the game slightly? We gotta figure this out here. <laughs> no, you can't even see her. You gotta see her. We're gonna figure this out. This is all an experiment. Focus on the cat with the game in the distance? I think that's a pretty good idea. Alright, let's, let's see if we can make that work here. Problem is, this is a wired webcam. So there's only so much we can do as far as distance is concerned. Okay, so let's do it this way, okay? We're gonna pull her out here. We're gonna roll her out. You can, you can, you can see the game. Let's 
Let's see how this looks. <laughs> she loves the attention, man. There we go. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. You can't even see the game, man. How are we gonna make this work? We gotta we gotta make this into a Mortal Royale stream. But it's so tough. Alright, I know what to do here. I know what to do. This is this is how we're gonna do it. You ready? This is the new meta. You just focus on her. Okay? If you just focus on her, and I will narrate to you uh, what is going on here. There we go. You can kind of get the idea of what's going on. Um, all right. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if the game captures now. Or if that's just not a possibility anymore. Probably isn't. No, this game's never going to capture. No way in fucking hell. Alright. Let's do it. Let's see if I'm the best uh, Mortal Royale streamer, okay? I don't even I don't even need the game. I don't even need to capture the game. This is this is the most uncomfortable position I've ever been in. Hold on, let me improve this. Uh, I'm gonna get a pillow for my knees. Just watch the cat. Okay. Don't worry, Tiger. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. You just you just show off like you usually do. All right. And she gets really antsy when I leave. She's a daddy's boy. A daddy's girl. She could be a boy. Who am I to say? Right, Taya? Right? Right? You know. Oh, you know. Alright. So just that. Stay on cam. Stay on cam. I need the money. Partially, you can partially see the game through the back of the chair. <laughs> Yuki's named after a character in Fruits Basket. All right, this is this is this is my technique. Okay, you see any streamers copying this? I want you to call them out on it. I invented this, this method. All right. Now she's lying down. She's ruining the mesh vision. Like you gotta, you gotta show off for the audience a little bit here. You can't just lie there. I'm waiting for two more players currently. There she is. There's the gal. It's, it's definitely Mortal Royale. See, the problem with this game, this wonderful game, is that it will not capture on anything on OBS. So I decided to become a little, uh, to, to, to try a little experiment with uh, the cat vision. Uh, first, we had it working pretty well, but my cat is, uh, you know, she likes to stay low, so it's hard to capture. I want to find, like, an angle where I can get the screen and the cat. I wonder if I could get her to lie on the desk, but she'll probably leave. I gotta tell you something. The, the, no one is connecting to this. 
No one is connecting to this fucking game. I've been waiting for one player for five minutes. Taiga. What has happened? Why won't anyone connect to this game? What? She'll bite me if I rub her. Let me show you something, okay? While we're waiting for... Oh, wait, no. Battle starts in 260 seconds with five players. Oh, fuck yeah. Let me show you something about her, okay? So she's got these little pants here. Alright, you pet the pants, it's okay for a little bit. You pet them too much, she gets very upset. She's very uh, self-conscious about these pants, and she will bite like that, but she'll bite very gently. The difference between her and most cats is that she's a good girl. You do this to Yuki, you touch his stomach, he will, he will leave scars. Alright, this is my, uh, this is just me talking about uh, Mortal Royale. Just a bit of a strategy. Avoid the stomach, avoid the pants. Oh god, she really got me that time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to show off for the stream. <laughs> she's she's not she's not DJ Baby right D, now. okay, thanks for the follow. Can I now finish this story? She's a beautiful girl. Rouse, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you for subscribing to my cat. Don't worry, only 180 more seconds until we can play with five people. See, now you can see Mortal Royale already through the mesh. This is, Now this is a stream. Now this is a real stream. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something experimental again. Actually, I probably won't be able to. What if I uh, if I do another video capture device, right? What if I duplicate it and I have one for Taiga and I have one for uh. One for, oh no, it doesn't work that way. I guess I'll, I'd need a se separate webcam. I wanted to like make that screen bigger so you could see yourself chatting, but I guess that's just not possible. All right, what do we have? Like two more minutes until we can play this game with five fucking players? Yep, two minutes, baby. Can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be great. Now she's watching me play. I think she just wants the game, honestly. She just wants to play Mortal Royale. That's my girl. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. Hi. Almost one minute until we get to play with five other human beings. She's having the time of her life right now. All right. Any time now. 45 seconds. 45 seconds of gameplay. Wahoo! She's looking. I wonder if I could get Yuki in here and show you some of the tricks he can do. He's quite the smart boy. When he wants to be. I'm just here playing, uh... I almost called it Realm Royale. Mortal Royale. Uh, all right, game is now starting with three players. Uh, two couldn't hack it. 
they couldn't wait the full what was it five fucking minutes for a queue five minutes yuki's actually a, a pro uh a pro i'm trying to think of something appropriate for him what are you doing There you go. Now you can see the you can see the the screen a little bit. She's messing around. She's turning back. What are you doing? What are you doing that butt? There she goes. Listen. How, f how fucking dare you call this exploitation, okay? I'm here with my daughter. I'm trying to game. This this game gives me no... Uh, gives me no uh, recourse but to use a fucking webcam to capture it, all right? And my cat will not stay close to the... To the get close. You know what? Hold on. Let me, let me roll her over. Maybe we could do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get her real close, okay? We're gonna get real close in there, so you can see the the video game. At least I think you could see her. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. All right. <clears throat> oh god. The woman masturbating on Twitter. Listen, this is just normal. It's just chatting. All right. They don't say what you have to do during it. Yeah, that's that's where I got my inspiration. It's true. I saw her leak all over the chair, and I said, "You know what? I bet I could put something else on that chair." Twinting will quickly drain your stamina. Thanks for the advice. There's three fucking people in this game. I think I'm one of them. So there's two people in this game. <laughs> that holds a thousand. Can't do this when dead. Oh, when did I die? Oh, I guess I haven't spawned in yet. Why can't I look at loot then? Oh. Here we go. Get that. Hell yeah. Now you can see the video game. My guy cannot run. He's having some trouble here. Spell region. I don't fucking know what this does. I don't know. What do you guys think of the game? We're gaming over here, Josie. I got the, uh, I got the cat gaming. <laughs> Will I ever fucking find anyone? Look, look at where they put me, too. This is the storm. There's a fucking mountain in front of me. I have to go around it. If it encloses on me, I'm fucked. I can't get around it. This is not very good map design. Can you guys describe uh, this game with the words very and cool in your description, please? There's a lot of corpses around here. Oh, here we go. Found something. Why does it make you pr press Z to get out of the mood every time? Oh my god. I just put him up there. Just get him out of the way. Looks like he's hanging himself because that's what I feel like doing. Oh hell yeah, man. More loot for me? It must be my birthday. At least it tells you, like, what stats are better. I guess that's a good thing. I have all these spell books though. Looks very white. <laughs> Listen, you have to. My stream makes you work, okay? I'm I'm not the one who does all the work here. You got to put in a little effort at home. I would highly suggest uh, turning down the brightness uh, on your end. 
and then you will clearly see what I'm doing. This is not my fault. All right. Fucking wheel. <laughs> Where are their pies? Is this is this the healing item? A pie? <laughs> I never thought I'd see a pie as a healing item in a game, except in uh, uh, what's it called? In Cuisine Royale, where that's the entire joke. Uh, I guess I'll get that. What is that? What is that? Exceptional spear. Why does it look like two knives together? All right, let's get the exceptional uh, exceptional spear out, and I still swing it. Chaotic sh storm shrinks. All right, so stab doesn't work. I could just hit with the spear. I might as well just ha have had a sword. Can I even get up here? The game with Kefir? It is, but hardly anyone plays it. It's a shame. That game was fun. I played it a lot off stream. I think it was called, like, Next Day Survival or something like that. It's pretty good. But they, uh, they added too much to it and they removed a lot of, uh, the fun features as most overzealous devs do. So it was a, okay, I can't go up there. So it was a shell of its former glory by the end. Hey! I don't suck! Hold on, let's, let me, let me make this experience even better for you, okay? I'm gonna... I'm going to show you something that you never asked for. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Color correction. Here we go. Now you're going to now you're going to see everything, okay? You see the whole screen. Watch this. All right? Watch this. You're not even going to believe this. It's dark as hell and you're going to see the game, but you can't see the cat anymore. Oh. I can't go up this mountain. He likes touching us, you know, doing funny things. Like, you know, come here, my boy, you know. Then if he does that, I'm like, where's that? Now you can slightly you know? see the game. How do you like that one? Where am I? Let me let me bring it back to the cat. You know, I, I I really concentrate on viewer feedback. Let me bring the cat back. I know that's why you're here. I know you wouldn't watch this stream otherwise. All right. There she is. Why am I even bothering with this? I just want, I want to see if I could find a single person. She's had a long day of sleeping. She needs to relax a little bit. Look up Kate to the mesh. It'll protect you from the from the brightness. It's like a pair of blinds. I just took damage in here. Let's let's get that mesh in there. There she is. All right, I'm gonna protect you from the brightness, okay? <laughs> is that a guy right there? Is he just looting somebody? I gotta I gotta get the sneak on him. Holy shit, dude! He's taking out his sword. I'm gonna get the drop on him. Am I doing damage? Start trade. What is going on? I'm hitting this guy and nothing's happening. I'm trying to trade with him though. 
<laughs> doing like no damage to his feet. You guys wouldn't believe this battle. Hold on. Let me bring you in for this battle, okay? I'm gonna bring you real close in here for this battle. Alright? Let me show you. Taiga, please don't catch the wire. Alright, so here's Purgator 11. This is us battling right now. This is our fight right now. This is combat in this game. She's the star of my stream. Don't take her. Well, she will be once I stab this man in the legs enough. So I'm doing damage to this guy, but he's not dying. <laughs> How do I kill this man? Hold on, let's, let's, let's pull up a different weapon, maybe. It says that this does so much damage, but it's fucking terrible. Let me get my claymore out. There we go. Oh, that does way more damage. Well, I don't- I don't think this guy can die. Is this an NPC this whole time? We got him! Yes! I killed a single player! Let's check out his loot here. Oh, look at all the stuff he had. Incredible stuff. Oh, wow. Amazing stuff. I got his head? I got a human carcass in my inventory now. Sick, man. That's- that's so cool. Oh, wow. Although, to be fair, his- his stuff did keep him safe. What is this? Oh, armor torso. There we go. Helmet. Put the fucking helmet on. There we go. Put my skirt on. I'm I'm fully armored. Now. What is what what just what? No. What just happened? Where's my inventory? All right, I don't know. Let's get the girl back. Here. Whoa, Tang, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? It's a bit of a streamer mishap. Come here, my dear. She's okay. She got a little spooked. She's fine. She's got it. Oh god! The storm! It's hitting me! And thankfully we're not too far. I can still win this. I just want to win one round of this. And then I'll be happy. Then I will be satisfied. Let's get the axe, even though it didn't really help us before. Got a little vacuum ASMR going on in the back. Only the best for my, uh, my viewers. She's a little on edge, but don't worry. She'll bounce back. The smallest things spook her. <laughs> Why 
Where the fuck could this guy even be? What? My screen just turned green when I was when my feet were submerged in water. Did I just get poisoned? The chaotic storm is closing in, everybody. I'm running through the field. Trying to find... Oh, I found the other player! He's running from me. Why can you trade with other people? This guy's just running from me. He doesn't even give a shit. Epic battle. I think I might be winning this battle. I won! I beat two players! Yes! Oh my god, I got to level 8, dude. Look at all this stuff I just unlocked. It's incredible. Wow. Fun, thank you so much. Jesus. I've earned it. The cat wants to leave now. Hold on, I'll, I'll do you one better, though. Hold on. Look, look at the wall for a second, okay? I gotta let her out. I'm gonna bring you another cat. The cat that inspired the Yuki Howl. Come on, Taiga. Come on. Do we have treats? Very few. I want Yuki to perform a trick. I'm the best at doing it with him. I know. Sit here, Yuki. Yuki, take the treats. All right, so we, so we have like no treats, so this might not work. Here's the young man, Yuki. What? If you can smell that, no, you can't smell that. God damn, you might not do it. But here's the howler. The boy himself. And also, that carpet damage, that's courtesy of Tomoya. Hey. You just want to leave, don't you? Damn it. Alright, I'm going to get some cat treats tomorrow. And I will show you the smartest cat who ever lived. Alright? Alright, so we've defeated Mortal Royale now. I've shown you every cat. Um, did this program work correctly? <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know if it worked correctly. Go back to the wall for a second. Alright, hold on. There you go. Inspect it. There's a secret behind this. Did you see it? Woo! 
Is anyone else streaming this piece of shit game? Let's see. <laughs> Probably the only one. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the only one who's like, every. how did everyone else capture this? They must be using something else. This game fucking sucks. I have, I have the top Mortal Royale stream with a, a cat on my chair and you viewing the stream through my mesh uh, computer chair. All right. So I feel pretty pretty satisfied, as anyone would. Let's move on now. Let's move on to something else, okay? Uh, let's see here. Let's see if this game will run. This might be an interesting uh, play. It's true. See if this runs first. All right, we're gonna be playing uh, King of Dragon Pass. Uh, essentially, we gotta just keep uh, a group of people alive in this game. But I saw a, I saw one screenshot of this game that really piqued my interest, in which sentient ducks were running a village, and you had the option of driving them from their land. No, no. You know what? Is there? Let's see who made Card Racer first. If there isn't a sequel for that, I swear it's just a, a waste. Oh, this is the the guy who made Card Racer made Hand Simulator. What the fuck? That's crazy, man. And he also made Evil Tag. Which God knows what the fuck this is. I can't believe he made Hand Simulator. He made like. Such a popular game. Alright. Let's play King of Dragon Pass. Alright, how do we play this unique storytelling game? Oh my fucking god. Listen, I don't need any lore. I don't need I don't need any rules. I'm just gonna learn it. Okay. I'm just gonna go right into it. This is how I do it. Okay. There once was a time when gods and people walked the earth together. Your clan traces its ancestry back to those times. Your clan history begins when you joined uh, the forces of the storm god Orlanth. Uh, back then, Orlanth was simply one of many upstart rebellious gods bent upon conquests of the world. Orlanth's unique contributions at that time were personal honor and a close kinship to the other deities who seemed to be on the winning side. Orlanth looks like a super saiyan. Oh, th these are- I'm, I'm making choices here. Orlanth struggle to remake the world was just beginning, and many other gods joined him in it. Orlanth fought Yelm. Your earliest famous event was, let's see, the healing of Orlanth, the Hundred Day Hunt, where when Orlanth and his son Odila <laughs> tracked the sky there? What the frick? Uh, let's see. Barntar, the son of Orlanth, and Ernalda learned of harnessing oxen to plow. Just the fact that his name is Barntar makes me choose this one. Uh, let's see. Orlanth succeeded in remaking the world. Thus began the golden era called the Storm Age. Orlanth's son, Vinkot, was a famous warlord during this time. Most people in the area were his followers. He introduced new principles, such as the rule of hospitality, which said that after you invited people to, into your steads, you could not attack or harm them. Thus was much treachery banished from Orlanthi society. Uh, let's see. Na Nalda bin stick farmers. You have the choice of whether to make them into thralls. Oh, dude, I'm making them my thralls for sure. The foes of the Ving Vinkotlings were many, and your people fought hard against them. Which of them in particular did you fight? Bo Bostakang, the troll lord? King of Basmali beastmen? The elf warlord? The ice tribe. I I I'm torn between the beastmen and the elf warlord. Chinkis, huh? Chinkis Moor. Okay. I like the Troll Lord as well. You like the Troll Lord? Let's go with the Troll Lord. Uh, the Storm Age ended in disaster when the gods and creatures of Chaos came and destroyed nearly everything. Orlanth and his allies fought hard, but Chaos almost always won. Many gods died. 
That's that's a sentence I never thought I'd read. Uh, and new ones rose to prominence. Many people died too. <laughs> that's like an afterthought. Eh, many people died too. Catastrophe shook the world. The sun fall, the rain of blood, and the terrible laughing, <laughs> the laughing tsunami. That sounds that sounds pretty hilarious. I'd like to be around for the laughing tsunami. That's the last thing you hear. It's like that that gas the Joker uses that makes you laugh and then uh, you turn into a smile before you die. Uh, the darkness got so bad that even Orlanth and his companions had to abandon humans to their own destiny. <laughs> he just said, fuck this. Only a few deities, either small ones or weak ones, remained. The world stagnated and died. Your clan was this, uh, diminished to a ragged handful of hardy survivors. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Hjort, the king, was the leader who emerged am amid the turmoil of the darkness. The efforts of Hjort and his companions helped set the world in order again. He created the laws that we follow to this day. One of the great distinctions which Hjort discerned among his clans was that uh, some of them tended towards either peace or war, uh, while others maintained a balance between these two. Oh no, we love war over here, okay? That's how you get results. Finally, the sun rose again. While the rest of society worked to protect themselves, find food, or otherwise just survive, the first priest worked to re-establish links with the ancient deities. With a new harmony between people and deities, uh, the world was slowly improved. Once awakening process had begun, once the awakening process had begun, it got easier and went quicker as the gods woke each other too. Who was the first deity which your clan helped awaken? Let's see here. The storm bull? Holy shit. The cow mother? The talking god. The father, mother goddess, hunter. I like the storm bull too. The loyal fane. She's, there's a slave god? I like the cow mother. I'm gonna go for the cow mother here. Things have been different since the dawn. 1300 years ago, Orlanth and the other gods retreated from the world, leaving it to mortals. You can still contact them through rituals and sacrifice, or enter their realm by reenacting stories about their deeds, which contain great magic. But they no longer walk beside you. When you settled in a new place, you marked this great change in the world by naming your land not after a god, but after a mortal like yourselves. You called it Hjortland, in honor of the king who taught you how to survive during the darkness. The one, the, the war, the war king. Oh my god, is that a, a dragon mage? Oh, that's sick as hell, man. I want to meet this guy. I want to meet this man. I want to meet this mage. Alright, about 600 years ago, a dragon approached you in either its own form or that of a human with a dragon's soul inside. The dragons had always been hostile, or at the very best, utterly uncaring. Orlanth was always the dragon slayer. You had to choose whether to believe and cooperate and learn to do what dragons know, or whether to maintain neutrality. What was your attitude towards the dragons? Dude. I, w I would never believe in a dragon, okay? Most of the, dr uh, the people who said yes to the dragons moved to Dragon Pass, a land to the north of your home. You stayed in Hjortland, and it is a good thing, too. For a little over 200 years ago, the dragons rose up and ate everyone who lived in Dragon Pass. <laughs> Whew, good call! Uh, they ate the Orlanthi along with, uh, all of the other foolish human dragon friend DRAGON FRIENDS! For a long time, no humans went to Dragon Pass. They were sure that the dragons would eat them too. See, this is why I never watched Dragon Tales. I knew it was just a scheme to get- to get us to trust them. Alright, and look what happened to the Orlanthi. Recent events made you think twice about the abandoned land of Dragon Pass. A generation ago, a usurper who called himself the Pharaoh came to Hjortland and started a civil war. Your clan broke into disputes, sometimes violent, about whether to support the Pharaoh. In the end, your group of dissidents decided it would be better to risk the dangers of Dragon Pass than to stay and kill your own kin, the greatest sin in, uh, an Orlanthi can commit. Those unable to live under the Pharaoh would move towards uh, northward towards uh, Dragon Pass. People of similar beliefs from the other clans had already made that same decision and settled there. So you made a new clan, just as your ancestors had done it in the days of King Hjort. Alright. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Thank you. Your new clan made the dangerous trek to Dragon Pass and selected a place to live. Like the other Orlanthi refugees from Hjortland, you settled in Quivini land, a, mountain in, uh, a mountainous area in the southeast of Dragon Pass. Uh, you would call these lands your home, or Tula. That just makes me think of my big fat Greek wedding. Tula, eat. Back in my day, we didn't have food. Tradition required you to make a formal land claim. How much land did you claim? Uh, huge tracts, far more than we needed. Hell yeah, dude. 
as much as possible. Uh, yeah, let's stick with normal. We're just having Ring King for ten years. And a short length for my first game. Okay, your clan history. Prepare for the marriage of Ernalda and Orlanth. Your men whooped and drank, whooped and drank with Orlanth. Oh hell yeah, we whooped with him. Your clan's earliest famous event was when Barntar learned to harness oxen to plows. <laughs> you <laughs> you added strangers to your clan as thralls. <laughs> Your ancient enemy is Boss Takang, the troll lord. Yours was a war clan. You first awakened uh, Uralda, the cow mother. Your attitude towards dragons was hostile. You distrust them. You have huge tracts of land, far more than you may ever need. It sounds good to me. I want to whoop. Oh, wow. The sacred time is two weeks of magical ceremonies which precede every new year. All right. Spend what we can on mysteries so we can sacrifice to understand... This guy's got 800 cows? Oh no, that's me, I got 800 cows. Alright, let's see here. We made the dangerous trek to Dragon Pass and claimed huge tracts of land. Far more than we could ever... They just keep, like, hammering that point home that... Maybe you have a little too much land here. We built a clan hall, some ste uh, some steads or steeds? No, it has to be steads. And a shrine to Orlanth. But when we left Hjortland, we lost much of our connection with the gods. Other clans we knew back in Hjortland also sent emigrants to drag it. We need thralls, baby. So bring them over here. So we already have friends and enemies in the new land. It's now time for the annual allocation of our clan magic. Alright, we got seven magic on reserve. Our god talkers predict a more a more or less normal harvest. Alright, so crops shouldn't be a big a big deal here. Uh Let's get some health in here. There should be few rat. You know what? Let's just let's just do the crops. Why not? Her let's go. Let's go for herds. Let's get some mysteries in there. Do a little bit of trade and double the war. Proceed. Check out the neighbors in the menu at the left. Relations. All right, who do we got here? This music is so good. <laughs> I should have maxed it out. Uh, relationships with other clans of Dragon Pass are important for winning. It's generally better better to be owed favors. Okay, we'll ask for the slide the favors do. Where do you see this? Slide the control at the top. Until... I don't see any of the... Ooh. Oh, we don't have any emissaries, okay. We got a lure? What the fuck? This guy struck a... Struck a deal with saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. This is ridiculous, man. All right, I have a trade. Our most productive crafters are women toiling at the loom. <laughs> Thanks for that advice. She's very good at animals. Bastacos! All right, what do we do here? Let's see how farming's looking. We got 195 herds. I don't know what they mean by slide the control at the top. Slide the control at the top until favors do is in the center. Where the heck do you see that? Oh, I guess I guess we ruled it. Sora Goodseller, a trade priestess of the talking god Iseris, comes to trade. In addition to the usual exchange of goods, she asks if we have any white horses. Oh, come on. We're, you're already starting out already with the race thing, huh? You know, just because we were at war with the dragons doesn't mean we have to bring, bring that here, okay? Uh, although we have some light gray horses, none can truly be called white. Uh, Offer to... Let's see... Throw her a feast. Sell her. Let's sell her another horse. 
Florida. You have uh, some fine horses, but I'm looking for a white one. Why does it have to be white? What the hell? Everyone is gossiping about what happened a few hours. This is just a man running naked. The young woman, uh, Ionis Slara, was found out in the forest making love with Kor Korol, a notorious poet and troublemaking warrior of the Heron clan. Korol left uh, without a formal farewell. Ion Slara is unmarried, so her actions are not an offense against the gods, but she is betrothed to Jurator, a young thane of the Hendart clan, and the wedding is scheduled for next season. Uh, let's see here. Let's, we gotta insist that Coral marry her. He fucked her in the woods. I mean, he might as well put a ring on it. Insist that Coral ma marry her. You mistake my intentions, Coral said. I meant not to eat the whole cake, but merely to sample the dough. When our people heard this, they were outraged. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we gotta raid them for this. Uh, raid the Harumphi. <laughs> Should we just put everybody? <laughs> 204 footmen? 12 weapon things and 44 auxiliaries. Let's let's send everybody over here to raid them. Proceed. We were spotted by the Heron patrols and our 12 weapon things and 204 footmen are facing 7 weapon things and 132 spearmen. That's nothing, man. That's nothing. Uh we're going to burn their stead. Kill as many <laughs> kill as many as possible. Uh maneuver. Let's just do maneuver. Yeah, we're definitely going to sacrifice the Orlinth. Proceed. Oh, wow. The Harani charged right into the trap we had laid for them. Fierce fighting ensued. Our magic smote them mightily. We drove the Harani from the battlefield, striking them down as they fled. We captured 14 cows and 10 horses. We took 22 cows worth of loot. Yes! That's good. We, we lost nobody! We killed everybody! We killed 31 footmen and we one weapon thing, we wounded 6 and wounded 57. We did, That's so great! We did great! We celebrated the humbling of lecherous Coral's clan. Once the excitement died down, the Carls began to worry about how little grain they'd planted. Uh-oh. That can't be good. This is a war clan. Everyone, everyone's optimistic. That's great. Farming looks good. That's pretty good. What's magic look like here? What does this do? The trickster god, fool, outlaw, and scapegoat. God of War and De Oh, we should so fucking... Humaka? Humakt? We should absolutely sacrifice to this guy. God of War and Death and of all endings. He is the patron of the uh, severest of warriors, each of whom has a list of stringent vows to uphold. Proves our luck of winning. Oh, hell yeah. Build a shrine to get a permanent blessing. Okay. Absolutely. Worshipping hum Humakt will make our warriors strong. That's what we need! This is a war clan! Perfect. Let's build it. We got it. Alright, so we got a shrine. We got the battle luck. Uh, let's see who else there is. Adventurous. Yeah, right. The storm bull is unruly and lawless. He hates chaos. Well, I love chaos, okay? If, if some someone from another village fucks a woman in the woods, I'd like to go to complete and total war with them. Uh, oh, Orland, there he is. God of Hunting, Ancestors, we already have shrines to these people, Health and Healing, God of the Sun. I think the, I think Humakt is probably the best one. I don't think we have a cat god. Search the war screen, okay. What do we do here? Click the weapon things button. Where do you see this button? Oh, here we go. Yes, let's recruit them. Hell yeah, we got four more weapon things over here. Beautiful. Cattle raids are attempts to steal cows without be- Ooh, we should do a cattle raid! We should get as many cows as possible. 
Yeah, we're gonna put 25 footmen in there. And 16 weapon thanes. They are known for their large pig herd. They owe us a favor. Is there any information about cows around here? Wait, hold on. They're known for their tradition the tradition of female chieftains. Who's got cows around here? Fertility of their fields. Skilled cooks. Oh, are these all of them? You know, let's let's just raid the ladies. Let's, let's play a little pr uh, prank on the female chieftains here and take their cattle. Managed to ride right onto their tula and speared away- 22 cows without ever being noticed! Hell yeah! Got 22 cows out of this! We're being raided by the horse nomads. There are 153 of them all mounted. Holy shit. We could raise eight- oh no. Alright, we gotta sacrifice the Orlanth and the Humakt. Drive them off. Proceed. Although the horse nomads tried to hold us off with mi with missiles, we maneuvered well and fell uh, on their flanks. There was a brief battle. Their war magic was stronger than ours, but our courage was greater. We drove the horse nomads off, and their survivors left without plundering our Tula. We captured s yes seven horses. Through their healing magics, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying and patched up two of the wounded. Oh, we only we only lost three uh, three men to that. That's not bad. Having the having the god of death and and war on your side is pretty useful, man. Keep us above water here. What's what's fortification do? Build a ditch. Fifty, one hundred fifty goods. Oh, that's a lot of goods, though. Let's fortify that. Make a ditch. Ramparts. Uh, let's put a watchtower. There we go. Oh! Oh! Oh no, she's pregnant! No! And she's happy about it! <sighs> Yannis Lara, whose betrothal to Jorator of the Hendarti was broken off after her seduction by Koro, the poet of the Harani, is now pregnant. Yannis Lara is very happy, but her kinfolk see her pregnancy as a reminder of an embarrassing chain of events. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta encourage Jorantor to marry, or I can't do that. Alright, I gotta scold her for that. The people were amazed that the clan leaders blamed her for having a child outside of marriage. They said that their leaders were making new and stupid rules and forgetting traditional ways. Some kind-hearted folks were even sorrier for you know, how are, why are you taking her side? She just made us go to war to, she made us raid another clan uh for having known Coral and then learning he was <laughs> he was killed in that raid. Uh, the harvest was bountiful this year. However, because we raided during sea season, we were shorthanded and couldn't fully reap Inarda's bounty. Despite the fine harvest, we won't be able to feed everyone this coming year. Oh shit! All right. Where's where's food? Oh, we got a lot of pigs. All right, we got a lot of of cattle here. How much food do we have? We got a lot of cattle from other people. Let's let's slaughter like a hundred of them. There we go. Oh my god. We're going. We're, <laughs> we're going. Uh, we're going to war with the cattle. A war trade. What is saga? Oh wow, there's like an entire uh, timeline for this game too. That's pretty sick. I like that. We need a cattle raid again, I think. All right, let's, let's try let's try trading with someone. Someone who we can get along with. We should sell some trade goods and buy food. All right, let's put like thirty footmen on it. How many weapon things do we have in total? And 
foods, cattle. We're buying cattle and food. We're selling. What is this? A really fine bull whose sire has more calves than normal. No, we can't. We can't get rid of him. Let's buy some horses, maybe. Or let's yeah, let's let's just buy. Let's go in a buying run here. How much gold do we have? We'll sell some goods as well. Let's see. They're known for they owe us a favor. But wait, there wasn't there a clan that was a. Uh, they uh, they were known for like their fields. We should go over there. Thunderstorm. Ooh, fine apple. A large pig herd. Hunting prowess. Maybe even that. We owe them a favor. Fuck that. I don't get any favors from here. We're feuding with them. Oh, for their cooks. Here we go. Let's let's send them over there. Rangor, a thane of the Heron clan, comes to complain that he was insulted by a member of your clan ring. Bastakos dined at her clan hall and spent the entire night insulting me! He waved his bare buttocks in my face, touched my wife in an improper manner, and spit chewed food in my face. Because he's a member of your ring, my clan considers it any insult made by him to be an insult made by your entire clan. Unless you punish him, there shall be war between our clans. Basakos, what the fuck are you doing? Where is he? Of course I was right to ridicule him? I can't believe he would spit- he- 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 he groped his wife, he spit food in his face- I can't stand for this, but look at Basakos' face though. Like, is it worth getting rid of him? That's true. He didn't have sex. All right, I'm gonna need. I need I'm gonna need uh, a consensus of whether or not Basakos should be removed from the ring. Say he did nothing wrong. If you're for Basakos, say remove him from the ring. Uh, if you're against him. Unfortunately, I don't think I can duel. It's not an option, it's grayed out. I can't believe you guys are for Bostikos, but I, I understand why, because it's the same reason that I'm considering that he was right in doing this. It, just look at that face. Just look at him! Alright, Bostikos, he was right to ridicule you, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but he was he was right. Wait, I can't click that? Oh, other people can do other things. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 see if someone can make him duel. Yes, have them duel. Is everyone okay with a duel? This is an option. Why can't I click on this? Is that the only thing I can do? Damn it. Who's this guy? Oh, he's away. The people love Bastikos, but do not want a feud. I can't choose that! I'm gonna have to remove him, guys, I'm sorry. That's the only option it's giving me. Ragnar was pleased by your, our justice, and the people were happy that Bastikos' insults would no longer seem to come from the entire clan. Damn it, I'm so- I'm so sad we lost him! Damn it! Bastikos! But at least he's alive and well, you know? We could have risked him dying if we had had him duel. Can't have that happen. I think we should go on another, uh... Oh, I don't want to see the manual. I want. I think we should go on another, um... Oh, we got some thralls here. We should go on another run. 
get some uh, get some delicious cattle. Is there another cattle raid here? Female chieftains sounds good to me. Let's get them all out there. Cattle raid. We managed to sneak. <laughs> yeah, thirty-one cows, baby. Our caravan is back from the. We traded forty cows worth of goods for seven cattle, twelve bushels of food, and six horses. He gave us hospitality. And we, oh, that's so nice. He's a very devout man. Your sir is is a good man in my book. How do I hire him? I don't know if I can. How do we do that? Alright, listen, I understand the most productive craft crafters are women toiling at the loom. You keep telling me this! Oh, we can we can get into their clan ring. Reorganize, huh? Ooh. Reorganize. Alright. He's great. These are all great people. Bastikos, no! He's only he's 30 years old. He's good with an animals, bargain- bargain- he's good at bargaining! He spit food at a fucking guy's face! Alright, let's see who else we have here. Asbjorn, Rostelos. He's renowned for his animals. Very good, very good. She's excellent at custom. Oh my god, this woman's rough. She's great at combat, though. But I, I, we we need someone who who will give us what Basikos gave us. We need someone who is kind of uh, who comes from like a similar wheelhouse. Because I mean, you gotta have a face you can trust. And personally, and I think you guys might agree with this. Um, I think. Let's see what we got here. We need like a, a trickster type. Coral Mar looks pretty good. He's a young man. Very trustworthy. I mean, look at that look at that smile. Ingard is pretty nice too. I'm gonna put Coral Mar on it for now. Um We'll see how he does. Oh my god, what's wrong with this guy's head? Uh, one of your Carls, Jarosar, oh, there he is again, complains that his wife, Disrada, dishonored him. It all started when he went to worship at the Gorin Temple and was insulted by Swen, one of their Carls. He challenged Swen to a duel, but Disrada, God, these names, did not want him to fight. When the appointed day of the duel arrived, she found where the men were fighting and knocked Jarosar dizzy with a big branch. He could not complete the duel and has now lost his honor. All right, let's see what we could do here. Why can I sometimes not choose things? It's telling me what to choose! Every time! Why was she not at the loom? It's a good question. I love that she smacked him as the duel's about to begin. And the guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tell that to the goose egg on my head, Jorosar protested. Try something else. I gotta encourage him to duel again. They fought, but the duel was inconclusive. Both became winded before hurting the other. Eventually, they decided that each man's honor had been satisfied. <laughs> what a useless fucking fight! Ah, uh, oh wow, twenty-six babies were born. Uh, we initiated 19 children as adults. The clan has 13 more people, 33 fewer head of cattle, and 24 more horses than we did last sacred time. We produced 688 and 8 and 791 bushels of food. Oh, we gotta make more food. 21 were lost due to spoilage. Our crafters produced 44 cows worth of goods. Our market made profit of 18 cows worth of goods. Uh, maintaining our shrines and temples took 10 cows and, and goods worth uh, 10, 20 cows. Okay. Let's see here. Our god, uh, our god talkers predict the more or less normal harvest. He would lure all the game away if we didn't if we did not learn one of his blessings. We definitely got to go into crops here. Um, let's go. Let's go into trade. All war. Um, some mysteries and some quests. Okay. Sounds pretty good to me. 
Benina died of old age? Her grandchildren are beside themselves with grief. Oh no. How old was she? God, she only she only stuck around for a fucking year. Oh, I'm so sad. Alright, we gotta hire younger blood here. I'm so upset that we can't get uh, our boy Basako's back. He's 31, he's young. Mm. No, I was I didn't think it was a woman either. Tarkala. Alright, let's we need another woman on here. Let's put her on. She's young. Nobles from the Heron clan come in their formal finery to tell you that they intend to kill as many of you as they can because we have told you this. It won't be secret murder, which is a crime. We will kill you legally, which you deserve because you have offended us in countless ways. No longer can we allow your insults and transgressions against us to go unanswered. We will answer them in blood. Compose a poem portraying them as food. Where's Bostikos? All right, we're definitely gonna compose a poem. <laughs> The poem was not as funny as we had hoped. <laughs> oh man. Maybe we should attack them. How much gold do I have? Let's get some more weapon things. How much, how much gold? Three cows worth of equipment, huh? Fuck it, let's... Four farmers to weapon things, oh yeah. Ion Lara had a fine baby boy. He looked, uh, looks much like Ion Lara's male kin, with maybe just a hint of Coral the Poet's chin. Alright. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get these, uh, people the fuck out of here, man. Alright, who was the... We should build another shrine. Ten goods, five cows. Let's do it. We're being raided. Oh, here they are! They have 11 horsemen and 129 spearmen. They slip past our patrols. Okay, we're definitely gonna sacrifice. Uh, kill as many. Let's take some captives this time. Let's see how that goes. The Hirani had burned three steads. Holy shit! Before we mustered our warriors, they attacked while we were still sacrificing. They charged right into the trap we laid for them, but they soon rallied. It was a short, nasty battle. Their magic confused uh, and confounded our warriors. We were driven from the battlefield, and the Harani made off with 15 cows and 6 horses? They burned 5 more of our steads! We lost 17 footmen to this! We lost the, the, the weapon things we just got, too. We got a quest over here. What is this? I don't know what this is. We got. We got to. We got to take them out of the fucking. Uh, we got to take them out of the running here. I don't like the fact that they. You know, they're walking in. They're saying we're gonna. We're gonna fuck you up. Uh, and then they, you know, they don't even think our poem's funny, making fun of them. It's pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. We gotta get the Harani the fuck out of here. Let's go to war with the Harani. First off, let's do a quick, uh, cattle raid. Actually, we can't. So let's just raid the female chieftains again. Oh no, we were spotted by the Hyord patrols, and our nine weapon things and six footmen are facing six weapon things and 41 sp spearmen! Alright, we're definitely gonna, uh, yes. Let's evade them. Let's go for survival. Oh my god, we lost people again. We withdrew. <laughs> Alright, how many? <laughs> how many, uh, Hjordlings? Oh man, we need more weapon things, dude. I have more weapon things. We have been short of Carls for some time. We don't have enough workers for the fields or herds. If we don't recruit more, we might have to reduce the amount of land under cultivation. Let's capture some thralls. Ooh, Brangdor. Brandgore, I'm sorry. A thane of the Blue Spruce clan uh, comes to ask you for information about Ortosi, chief of the Entorling clan. We intend to enter into negotiations with Ortosi and hope that you know something about his personality so that we will be well prepared for a parlay with the Entorlings. 
you owe us a bit you owe us a favor and we will consider your obligation discharged if you uh, give us good information let's see do we know him well at can't afford to offend him. Ortosi is so silver-tongued he could convince a man to slit his own throat. Let's see. He knows him. Is Ortosi honest or full of guile? Ortosi is honest to a fault. Ortosi is not only honest, but has a keen nose for the dishonesty of others. Ortosi's tongue is so silvered that he could convince a man to slit his own throat. Brangdor departed and thanked us for the information. Not long afterwards, he returned to Artula to withdraw his thanks. The information you gave us was mistaken at best and deceitful at worst. Our relations with the Entorlings have been sorely tested, and it is your careless words which are to blame. Whoops. Whoops. He didn't like it. All right. Let me see what we can do here. Have any goods? Let's trade. Send a, a caravan out. I love our bull, though. I can't. I can't do that. How many horses do we have? We got a lot of cows. We could sell some cattle. Purchase some goods. Let's do it. That's enough. It, it's fine. Uh, let's see here. Alright, what are the... there's Heron. We're feuding with them. Let's go all-out conflict. Let's just, let's test them out, okay? Let's, let's test them out, let's see how they do. Our warriors were caught in a raging blizzard and forced to turn... Damn it! What? There they are, those are the duck people. A scouting party discovers rich farmland, not far from your stead. It is inhabited by strange beast folk who behave sort of like normal Orlanthi and call themselves the Rune Ducks. Uh, for once, both warriors and Carl's agree it would be a fine thing to drive these small, inhuman creatures from this fertile valley and claim it as our own. Alright, let's see. I think we should definitely demand that they give us half their shit. That way they work for us, you know? We're being raided- WHAT?! We're being raided by the Rune Ducks? There are nine armored ducks and 143 with spears? Oh no. Alright, we gotta sacrifice. Let's drive them off. Let's charge them. We were rushed- We rushed the Rune Ducks formation while they were still performing their rituals. We ran through a hall of missiles and smashed into the Rune Ducks. The fighting was over quickly. Their magic was stronger than ours, but we quickly rallied. We drove the Rune Ducks off, and their survivors left without plundering our Tula. Due to their prompt healing, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying and bandaged one of the wounded. Alright, so they lost a weapon thane and three footmen. We actually didn't... We just got wounded. We, that wasn't too bad. We just lost two foot soldiers. Stoutly we defended, swiftly did the ducks waddle from the battlefield. By right of the sword, we took all their land rather than half we asked for! We- YES! Nobody worried much, but now we have to work on that land, though. Nobody wor uh, worried much about uh, where the surviving ducks might have fled to. Yeah, well, who cares? They don't have any That's all I care about. Coolbrass's caravan to the Blue Spruce is blocked by a group of coarse-looking outlaws. His forces are slightly unnumbered. What should Coolbrass do? Uh, bargain with them for passage. It seems to me that we can just take all the treasure, not just the paltry amount you offer, said the outlaw leader. Alright. You know what? We're a war clan. Kill as many outlaws as possible. It turned out there were more outlaws lurking in the bushes. They hit us with a barrage of spells, causing much damage. Coolbrass took a wound, as did many of his escort. They managed to return with the caravan intact. Woof! Woof, he's wounded. Duck off. Alright. I want to take these rune, th these rune ducks out, though. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I 
I think we should have more crops, right? That makes more sense to me. Oh, magic. We sacrifice? Alright, we're gonna sacrifice 50 cows to Humakt. How many thralls do we have? We got nine of them? No, I'm not gonna sacrifice my thrall. Sacrifice. Thank you, Humakt. Hell yeah. Weapon things fight with the strength of two? Hell yeah. Fuck it, let's sacrifice 50 more. The Oath Ritual. Oh! Horn Coral and Voskandora. Uh, con constant bickering, arguing, throwing things, and outright fighting has reached the point where their families and neighbors push them off in front of the ring, demanding something be done to stop them. The couple seemed chagrined to be brought to the clan hall. They're pretty embarrassed about it. Uh, let's see. We gotta find them. We gotta get some money from them. The ring stripped them of their herds, reducing them to cotters. The Carls complained that the ring had interfered in a domestic matter. The weapon thanes were pleased that we had punished the Carls. Okay, why do they like that? I thought the Carls and weapon thanes uh, worked together. Then one trained the other? <laughs> the thing for Orlanth? Which thing for Orlanth? The, the ritual? Oh. Reduce deaths and wounds among the farmers. Deals out more wounds in battle. Maybe we should... We should build another shrine room. Oh no, we have the maximum shrine. Never mind. We don't need that. Increase the fertility of our cow- Oh, we should do this to the cow mother though. Is it the maximum size it is? Increase the yield of our cows. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice some goods for the mysteries. We cannot afford to make the proper sacrifices, and our shrine has fallen. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. You have to learn to mystery. Oh, okay, so I just have to sacrifice to him. 40 babies are born, we initiated 20 children, the clan has 5 more people, 127 fewer head of cattle, 6 fewer horses, we produced 100, or 10, 1065 and 87, okay, so now we have a lot more food. Our craft has produced 46 cows worth of goods. That's pretty good. We did pretty well. A more or less normal harvest, let's still put it towards that. Put it towards mysteries. War, health, and trade. We didn't learn any blessings of Odile Odi a bit last year. I think this is why there is no game to be found. Oh shit. That's what we should have done. A family of travelers petitions you, seeking membership in your clan. The father, Dorasor, speaks on behalf of the others. His family made the dangerous trek from es Esrolia in search of freedom and prosperity. So far, they have found only misery. Dorasor promises hard work and loyalty in return for your generosity. Hard work and loyalty, huh? Hmm. Do we need more thralls? Or should we assign them some land? I wish we could bring back Bastikos. I miss him. Assign them land. I guess they would work that way, huh? Thank you. We will strive to be a credit to the and an, an mangarns. I, I don't know who those are. The cursed duck lamp. All right, good stuff. Eat half as much as Carl is. Should get more thralls around here. How do we get more goods? That's what I'm wondering. Magic. Oh yeah, where's Orlanth? Oh no. Oh, we probably can't afford it, can we? How do we get 
get more goods. I guess let's, you know what, let's let's go ahead and trade. There's a lot of cows. Let's establish a trade route. Why not? Get a 10 things out there. 30 footmen. We have enough horses to sell some, we should buy some food. Yeah, who has goods? Maybe maybe I should sell some horses. Sell horses. Who has What do you say? The badgers have the most goods. Oh, they owe us a favor too. That's great. Right, let's sell let's sell some Let's buy some goods from them. Farmers are working hard, but there are too few of them to care for the crops and the herds. If any refugees or travelers petition for membership in our clan, we should welcome them as Carls or Cotters. Okay. We're being raided by the- Not again with the fucking horse nomads! There are 154 of them all mounted. Oh no. Alright, let's drive them off. Absolutely charge them. And sacrifice. We smashed into the horse nomads as they were trying to shift their lines. The clash ended quickly. Our magic deafened and dazed them. We drove the horse nomads off, and their survivors left without plundering Artula. We captured eight- We got eight horses out of this? Fuck yeah! Oh, okay. I didn't- I didn't see that I could change my name. I was wondering, like, who the, who the frick- Who are you talking about? I should have called myself the, uh, the ducks. The ducktails. Uh, alright. Let's see here. Horse nomads raided us. We drove the horse nomads off. Hell yeah. Classic. Classic stuff. Got a lot of food. Should I just accept these thralls? As cotters. Eat half as much, though. Oh, fuck it, it's only ten of them. Encourage them to leave. Or maybe we can. Free th ten thralls. Let's do it. We'll get more. Yes! Our caravan is back from the pit. We traded eight horses for 29 cows worth of goods. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Whoa, who is this guy? What the fuck? Four weeks ago, Hyorl, a sour pig herder, died of old age in his sleep. His family mourned and buried him, but death has not inconvenienced Hyorl. Each night he climbs from his grave, returns home, sits at his son's table, and demands a meal. He stays until dawn, eating their food and drinking their mead. His family is distraught. He is eating us bare! He won't have enough to last through the dark season. We won't have enough to last through the dark season. And the sight of, our, of a rotting corpse eating porridge puts us off our own dinner. Our children grow thin. They cannot sleep for nightmares. Why are you allowing him to eat your food? He's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, sacrifice to your ancestors for protection? Let's sacrifice him. We held a ceremony at Hyorl's grave, imploring his revenant to join our honored ancestors in the afterlife and trouble his family no more. The grave grumbled, then fell silent. That night, Hyorl remained in the earth, and his family ate dinner in peace for the first time in weeks. I know, they're worried about the food. I'm like, he's eating everything! I don't care that he just crawled out of his grave. A corpse is eating all, all my meals. It really stinks around here. All right, let's let's trade some more. Let's send a caravan out. Sell more horses and get more goods from the uh, the beagle, the badger. The badger is what I meant. Yes. So, uh, We've all heard rumors that there are magic places here on our own Tula. I think the rumors are true. We should assign at least 10 footmen to explore our home more thoroughly. Okay. How do I send people out? Oh, explorer. There we go. Send them out. 
We thought we'd found most of the secrets of Artula, but this latest expedition led us up a hill we hadn't climbed yet. There we found large, fused lumps of iron, which we all know everyone wants. Of course. I'm happy to report that Derek of the Blue Jays began a while ago to find excuses to visit Ianislara and her kin. She has grown glad to see him, as, uh, as has her family, who granted them permission to marry. Derek proclaims himself lucky to find such a beautiful and fertile wife. Ooh, fertile wife, huh? Did you try her out? Did you uh, plant, a, plant a little seed in there? Our caravan is back from the badgers. Oh, hell, we got a lot of goods this time. They have 17 weapon things, huh? What? What is going on here? An old woman who introduces herself as Leica brings a baby to you. She has been raising the child alone in the woods, so you can assume she has been outlawed from her clan for some reason. I raised this girl in a shield so that she will grow up to be a mighty- yeah, that, that's how that works. It is time that she had a clan, so I bring her to you. Her name is Kalir. An infant cradled in a shield. Oh, damn. The Var Varsin says that she's gonna be a mighty warrior. Welcome, Chronic. How are you? What are we afraid of? She is no kin to us! Shut up, or 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 Oran. Damn. They all want her in. Uh. Yes. Adopt both the woman and the girl. Let's do it. She can raise her. Leica was surprised and pleased by your generosity. Hell yeah. Let's explore a little bit more. Swishin turned up a well-hidden cave, and this cave is that rare green-colored clay used for high-quality pottery. Oh, wow. The marriage between Ian, Slara, and Derek was a fine affair. The Blue Jays hosted us, impressed us with their hospitality and generosity. Well, we're friends with the Blue Jays now. <laughs> baby in a bowl. <laughs> I thought she was- I thought she was offering the baby as food at first. I was- I was worried for the baby. Let's send another trade caravan out. Sell more horses for cattle. Leica reports that while she was gathering food in the woods, a tree snatched up her dog. <laughs> a tree?! Oh, that sounds like bullshit to me. And she was barely able to rescue her in time. When she led a group of warriors and god talkers back, they conducted a ritual and learned that the tree spirit demanded a human sacrifice, but in turn would gift us with either magic or food. It insisted that only a human life would do. Oh boy. Send a party to chop down the tree. I don't know. Should we chop down the tree or sacrifice somebody? That baby's gonna be a great warrior. We could we could sacrifice the the mother though. We could throw her in there. This tree's like I gotta eat I gotta eat some. We could definitely use some magic and food though. We have zero magic right now. All right, let's sacrifice a clan member here. Uh, give us magic. Yes. Grimly, the god talker sacrificed an elderly Carl to the tree. They were cheered somewhat when they uh, determined that the spirit had in fact given the clan magic. Fuck yeah. Four magic for, for an old woman? The weapon- let me tell you something, the weapon things are gonna be very happy about this. They, they fucking hate the Carls for some reason. They hate them. Let's do a quick cattle raid here. They owe us a favor, we're allied with them. Let's, let's get them again. 25 footmen. Oh shit. Let's use a magic. Let's take some captives too. And charge them. There we go. The two forces ran together. There was bitter fighting. Our magic deafened and dazed them. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture any ca captives. We captured 29 cows and 3 horses. Shit, we killed a bunch of their footmen though. We really didn't suffer that much. 
Uh, our caravan is back from the Blue Jays. We traded eight horses for 41 cows worth of good. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Under U Urenstan, their chief, gave us hospitality. He's such a nice guy, man. I fucking love him. I love the Badgers. Got a lot of goods now. Maybe we should build up uh, another th another uh, shrine. Maybe we should... Hold on. Maybe we should raise some... Some more weapon things, though. New weapon things need three cows worth of equipment. Let's let's raise like ten more. Wait, what what's going on here? Yeah. We've been short of carls for some time. We don't have enough workers for the fields or herds. If we don't recruit more, we might have to reduce the amount of land under cultivation. Oh, that's because we have... That's right, I chose the most land possible. We own all of the land. There's a great rock in the back pastures of Yertula. Darold was walking by it one day when it spoke to him. It claimed... It claims to be named Tariel Gore and to be the guardian spirit of the local hills. Let's see... Test the spirit to see if we can trust it. Bargaining. Who's good with bargaining? Custom, very good. Excellent. Let's get him to do it. Horrified, we learned that it spoke false. It was not the protective spirit it claimed to be. Let's try to put it back to sleep. Who's good at magic? Who's excellent at magic? Is there anybody? Very good, very good, very good. Just get him to do it. The rock spirit lashed back at Coralmar, scratching deep into his soul. Whoops. Are you okay? Are you okay? He scratched his soul. Alright. How do we get more... Th uh, how do we get more Carls? Blackboards have a new chief, Enderos. He is known for his moderation and his Alinx breathing. What the fuck is an Alinx? Their former chief, Kushile, stepped aside after Blackrock warriors threatened to leave the clan. Alright. Let me get some more hunters. Let's get like 10 more. We weren't able to attract 27. We were able to attract 27 new Carls to the clan. Oh, nice! The Hjordlings are raiding us with 12 horsemen and 152 spearmen. They slip past our patrols. Alright. We're gonna take captives this time. Charge them. Definitely use one magic for this. The two forces ran together. It was a short, nasty battle. Our magic deafened and dazed them. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take any captives. We captured three horses. Uh, through their healing magics, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying and patched up two of the wounded. We didn't lose that much at all. Killed 13 of them. Uh, and one weapon thing. It's pretty good. The Carls are in a bad mood these days. Although there is no evidence to support it, the Carls are certain that the hated Harani have been sending their trickster to cry bitter tears into our fields at night. Make it... Who are these? What? A trickster? Alright, let's put some something into mysteries. Crops and war. So we have some reserve magic as well. 37 babies. Wow. Alright, that's pretty good. The Boscovi clan's best trader, Markalor, is here, eager to speak. Uh, we know that you found a source of green clay and would pay handsomely to know where it is. We are the most qualified people to make high quality pottery from clay. Their clans are not at war. Our trader, Coolbrass, narrows his eyes at this request and gives a small shake of his head. We are prepared to offer 40 cows worth of goods for this knowledge. That's a lot, man. Two wagon loads for that. 
Buscovy eventually came around and agreed to this. We filled two of our largest wagons with the green clay while they sent for the cattle. Our potters were miffed at losing so much of the clay, but we told them that we would get that they would get their chance to work with it in the years to come. Listen, it's 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 a bunch of goods, okay? Okay, we have we have people crying on our uh, on our fields to worry about right now. Let's get some nearby clans and our distant king kin. All right, a thrall owned by the Antorling clan stumbles into your clan begging for help. We realize that it is our lot in life to serve, he says, but we can no longer serve the Antorlings who mistreat us terribly. Even the thrall can take only so much injustice before he must rise up and strike a blow for freedom. It transpires that this thrall, Garnath, incited a rebellion on the Antorling Tula. He and his fellow uh, thralls killed several Antorlings and fled to the woods. Outraged Antorling thanes are now pursuing them, seeking vengeance. <gasps> All right. Listen, this is a problem because if I let this guy into our clan, who's to say he won't incite another fucking rebellion? And plus, we could uh, we could go to the Entorlings and uh, we could we could we're, yeah, we're gonna seize them. They were grateful and gave us gifts. Not long after, we heard that they had sacrificed Garneth to Humakt. Hey, that's my god! So everyone wins in the end. The people were glad. By showing a wretched rebellious thrall that rebellion would not be tolerated by the good people of Dragon Pass, we honored our ancestors and strengthened our magic. There we go. We did it. That's fine. We did great. Everyone won uh, in the end of that. In the, in the end, of, end of that exchange. That was very good. All right. Seals bonds between queens. Oh wow. Let's build a bigger. Uh, yes. Oh hell yeah, we got more carls. Let's get some more weapon things here. Five farmers. The children of the clan, boys and girls alike, have begun to grow beards. What? The people are worried. They say it must be a curse of some kind. What's wrong with that? They're growing up. Uh, the beards will fall out if we are patient. Send for shamans to break the curse. Let's let's conduct a quick divination here. The spirits of our ancestors said that the brown boars had paid shamans to lay this curse on us. To lay the curse of beards. <laughs> Launch a legal claim against the brown boars. Launch raid of reprisal. Oh, we definitely need to launch a raid of reprisal against them. We're sending every fucking man, woman, and child to fight these men because they put beards on our children. Uh, use one magic. Definitely gonna sacrifice the Humakt. Uh, let's seize their land. Actually, taking captives might be nice. Uh, gonna charge them. Uh, the brown boars attacking while we were... Attacked while we were sac still sacrificing. There was an extended clash. Our magic blew away theirs. We took one captive from the brown boars. We captured 22 cows and 7 horses. We took 26 cows worth of loot. Our auxiliaries kept 6 warriors from dying and healed 16 of our wounded. Hell yeah, man. Look at that. No losses that time. The people were happy to have struck against... Uh, the ones who sent bad magic against our children. Once we bested them in the raid, the children's beards fell out of their own accord. Yes. Everybody was slaughtered because of beards. We have one prisoner from the brown boar clan. What should we do with him? Uh, let's keep him as a thrall. Our herders report that uh, that when the warriors were away raiding, the Gorind clan slipped in. Oh, it took a night. What? Okay. Okay. If you're gonna if you're gonna start shit like that, all right. First of all, let's let's send a, a trade caravan out and sell some horses for goods. For goods and food. From my my best friends, the Badgers, of course. We don't have enough farmers to care for our herds. Okay, we'll raise more farmers. We're being raided by the ho AGAIN with these fucking horse nomads! There are 153 of them! Alright, let's use one magic. Uh, drive them off. Let's take some captives. Charge them, baby! Oh no. We rushed the horse nomad formation while they were still performing their rituals. We charged through a barrage of arrows. Fierce fighting ensued. Our magic overwhelmed theirs. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take any captives. We captured four horses. With our careful attention, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying. Alright, we we uh, we lost eight fighters and two elite fighters. 
That's not good. That's not good at all. That sucked. Okay. Or we let's do a quick cattle raid. Who stole our uh, stole our horses? The Gorind, right? They they owe us a favor. They stole our fucking horses. That's it. I'm sending all the weapon things out there. We we're spotted. All right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna plunder this time. Skirmish. The Gor oh my god, we killed a bunch of their people. The Gorons had to charge through a withering hail of missile fire. There was a bloody battle. We drove the Gorons from the battlefield and were able to blunder their Tula. We captured 29 cows and 4 horses. Hell yeah, man. Our caravan is back. Oh, 22? We got some food from it. Let's trade some more. Food and goods is all we need. Maybe some treasure, too. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go for food and goods. I love the badgers. They're good people. The harvest was typical this year, but because we raided during Earth season, we were short-handed and couldn't take full advantage of it. Also, the sacred time rituals were performed for our crops had little that were performed for our crops had little effect. Despite the harvest, we won't be able to feed everyone this coming year. We might need an emergency livestock slaughter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's let's. Slaughter some, uh, some cattle. Let's just slaughter like a hundred of them. Whoa! A huge troll seeks permission to enter your Tula as a guest. You soft skin think you mighty like troll. I, Umulguk, daughter of Umkotor, make challenge to you. If you have mighty champion, then she smashed a nearby boulder into shards with her mace. Your weapon things eye each other uneasily. All right, we're gonna accept her challenge if she wagers something valuable. If you win, I not eat you. Then she made a noise almost like a war drum. You not laugh, so maybe you trollkin, or I give gold head thing you win. You give me any food you lose and goose. And goose too? All right, let's do it. Good, what human I beat? The weapon things remain conspicuously silent. All right, we gotta go with combat here. Renowned for the combat. Excellent is good. Let's send her in. Or him. I, I don't know. That's not a duel. Proceed with the contest. Ingana gamely ate a hen and some bread, but could not hope to match the ravenous- Wait, it was a duel of eating? Several hours later, after she proclaimed herself full, Umulguk claimed her winnings. The Carls were dismayed that the ring had agreed to this. She thanked us for snack and departed. At, at least we had pleased our ancestors by attempting a contest. She just wanted she wanted to do an eating contest. And I said someone who was really good at, at fighting. <laughs> she changed the rules! Okay. Let's try, uh, do we have a caravan out? No, we don't. Let's just focus on food for now. Large avalanche cut off the only route. Damn it. Who is, who is food again? Arnaldori. Chivas. Okay. Priestesses of Chalana Aroy from many different clans have gathered together to pay homage to their goddess. As part of their devotions, they are traveling to various tulas and offering to heal the sick and the wounded. They ask only that you promise to aid them in the future when your help is needed. The more people they heal, the greater the favor they will ask. The people are honored by their visit. 27 people sick and 3 wounded. Yes, we'll help them. They did so, and the people rejoiced. The priestesses departed, reminding us that they would one day come back. They're gonna ask us for something really bad, aren't they? They're gonna ask us to slaughter an entire, uh... Group of people. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. I can I can already tell this is gonna be bad. Let's get some more farmers from nearby clans and distant kin. Eight horses for seventy bushels of food. Oh, I thought this guy had a gun. The brown boars again. Twelve horsemen, one hundred forty-one swordsmen. I right, use some magic here. Let's drive them off the quick skirmish. 
The brown boars rushed us before we'd fired more than a few volleys. There were there was a bloody battle. Our magic threw them into confusion. We drove the brown boars off, and their survivors left without plundering our Tula. We got three horses out of it. Damn, we wounded a ton of their people. Hell yeah. Sacred time. 41 babies were born. That's good. We got a lot of people here. Definitely gonna go for the war again. It's too bad that we were unable to explore the northwest as the omens indicated. I feel we lost an amazing chance at Okay, I forgot about that. 31 new Carls, hell yeah, and 27 new children. The Boscovi sent us several greenware urns to thank us. Ooh. Oh, wow. Let's see how many weapon things we could recruit from this. It's pretty good. War is hard on the farmers. Listen, they just keep fucking complaining about this. Goods. Let's go to the Badgers. They're good people. Whoa. Two warriors from Hendark clan visit with their clan Trickster and Gori. Our elders know you have no Trickster on your ring, so they thought that Angori could join the Anmagarn uh, Anne clan and serve you. And Gori hops up and down excitedly, then recites the names of your seven most illustrious ancestors. Should I accept this Trickster? We don't have a trickster. That's right, we gotta put the woman, the women on the looms. Let's get them. Alright, we'll give them a gift. We'll give them... 30 goods. And Gori solemnly pledged the bondsman's oath to Lakin. Uh, for a week, he f followed him around everywhere until Lakin said, Stop dogging my footsteps! To everyone's surprise. And Gori transformed into a white dog and ran off, barking wildly? He was never seen again. However, some of our herders swore that several cattle had been chased into our herd by a dog. He was a fucking dog the whole time! He really was a trickster! I, I, I got tricked, okay? I'm so sorry. I should have paid attention. He was a goddamn furry. Was a furry. Need more thralls in here. Let's distribute some goods. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm not the Gorins. 15 horsemen and 140 swordsmen. I got magic this time, baby. This time, we're gonna kill as many as possible and charge! Oh, that wasn't a good idea. The two forces ran together. Fierce fighting ensued. Their magic confused and confounded our warriors. We were driven from the battlefield. They took 29 cows and 6 horses! And then loot! Damn it! Damn it! That's okay. Uh, let's explore a little bit. While exploring the further reaches of our tool, we camped near a small spring. As we kept watch that night, we were surprised to see that many of the stones around that spring glow in darkness like the stars. Our crafters are excited about using these rocks for amulets. Ooh. Our herders report that the Hjordlings stole 26 cows in a cow herd. I swear to god, these Hjordlings. Uh, Sora Goodseller, a trader priestess of the talking god Isaris, Returns to offer you what she says is a great treasure, a whirlwind, trapped in a small clay jar. Sora says that when the jar is open, the wind will roar out and swoop through our foes. Dicker with her? Dicker with her? I'm gonna dicker with her. Listen. I'll give you, uh... I'll give you 60 cows for this. No higher. Sora persuaded us to pay more than we had intended. Hell yeah. It's a pretty good jar. I 
disagree with uh, your suge uh, suggestion, Blooper, okay? We've been doing great, and we're actually gonna go to war now. With the horse nomads, I fucking hate those guys. Where are the horse nomads? We're feuding with them, brown boar. Fuck it, let's 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 get them. I'm sending everybody in. I don't even care. They said they w that we would all go hungry if they didn't. What? Raid them now! Get the brown boar now! Raid them! Yes, I'm using three magic. No, two magic this time. I'm gonna kill as many as possible and maneuver. Where's... Oh, here we go. While we tried to gain the advantage of turning, the brown boars retreated from... <laughs> they just pushed out. Oh, no. They got even more cows from us. The harvest was typical this year. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. The horse nomads are back. All right. Three magic this time. I'm sacrificing. I'm killing as many as possible. And I'm skirmishing. Fuck it. Let's do it. The horse nomads attacked while we were sacrificing. They rushed us before we'd fired more than a few volleys. The fighting was fierce. Our magic deafened and dazed them. We drove the horse nomads from the battlefield, striking them down as they fled. We captured 24 horses. Due to their prompt healing, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying and healed two of the wounded. Eh, the losses weren't that bad. These horse... These, these horse nomads! They're ridiculous. Okay. Let's trade some more horses. Let's get some treasures this time. Anyone got some treasures around here? Great, I got stuck. <laughs> uh... Let's build him a temple. While plowing the fields, the Carls find something strange. It's an enormous skull, some kind of dragon creature. Let's display it in the clan hall. Visitors uh, from the other clans seemed impressed. Our dragon-hating ancestors, less so. We are close to a feud with the Fjordlings. We can limp along with too few farmers for a while, but we... Stop telling me about the farmers! We need more farmers! Let's just take them from fucking any clan. Let's just get it. Let's just get farmers. Not, not again. Kill as many as possible. Charge them. Each force ch charges the other. Orson strike down an enemy warrior, then another, then parries blows from the from three directions at once. He has become the target of several Elkinval warriors. What should Varsons do? Fight bravely. Press the enemy hard. Fight. Although we did not know it before the battle, Varsons had been sick a few, oh no, a few days earlier and had not fully recovered. He grew tired early in fighting. The Elkinval warrior saw this weak weakness and pressed him hard. He was seriously wounded. Oh boy. Oh my god, we wounded a ton of theirs though. It was a short, nasty battle. We drove the Elkin Volley from the battlefield, striking them down as they fled. We captured four horses. Good. Poor man. Do a quick cow raid here. So I'm sending everybody in, and I don't, I don't care. We were attacked by <laughs> oh, 30 new Carls. 21 fucking. Oh my god, they will no longer be regularly trading partners. Said they were not profiting as much as they expected. Well, frick them. Alright? Incredible stuff here. I found it so I can be no more cows. In. Oh no. Cows don't. Our deities don't like us. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut it here. This is, uh.
very interesting. This was actually pretty fun. I, I like this game. Uh, don't understand. Uh, don't understand why everyone keeps that. You know these horse nomads. They're going down next time we play this. They're 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 the first ones I'm gunning for. All right. It was very in depth. I, I liked it a lot. Pretty pretty freaking fun, if you ask me. Uh, pardon the language, please. Uh, all right, everyone. I'll likely be back tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, then definitely Wednesday. Thank you for watching uh, this very experimental stream. Uh, very violent stream. Uh, I would encourage you that if um, anybody tries to steal your cows, you definitely raid them. And also, if anybody sleeps with one of your... Um, with one of your tribeswomen in the woods and runs off and refuses to marry, you also raid them and make sure he dies. All right? Uh, that's my advice for today. I'll have more advice tomorrow. Uh, have a wonderful night. And uh, see you later. Good night.